So this is a brief introduction to how we describe and write down chemical reactions. So a chemical reaction is also referred to as a chemical change. Those two things mean the same thing. A chemical reaction happens when one or more substances turn into one or more different chemical substances. Before a chemical reaction occurs, we have some substances that will be part of the chemical reaction. These are called the reactants. So reactants are the substances that are there before a chemical reaction happens. During the chemical reaction, the reactants that we started with turn into the products. Chemists often use the word yields. They often say that reactants yield products. After the chemical reaction is over, there are new substances that were made during the reaction, and these are the products. So the products are the substances that are there after a chemical reaction happened. So we can say that reactants yield products. Reactants turn into products. Here we have the S's in parentheses because sometimes there's only one reactant or one product. Again, the reactants are the things that are there before. Uh, so this equation, this general equation we're talking about is kind of like a little timeline. The reactants are the before. The yields are during, during the reaction. The reactants are turning into the products. So there's some of each there. And after the reaction is over, the, what we have left are the products. So if we use this equation all the time, we'd be very confused. There are lots and lots and lots of different chemical changes. So this general reaction gives us an idea what's going on, but it doesn't tell us the specifics. But we can write a chemical equation to tell us about a specific chemical reaction. A chemical equation contains all of the correct formulas for the reactants and the products. Here's an example. We know that hydrogen and oxygen combine to make water. H2 is hydrogen. O2 is oxygen. They turn into water under the right circumstances. We've seen videos of people making that reaction happen. The reactants are the things that are on the left side of the equation. They're the things that were there before the reaction happened. The products are on the right side of the arrow, the end of the chemical equation. In this case, there's only one. It's what is there after the chemical reaction occurred. We can even do better than this. We can write a balanced chemical equation, which is the best way to describe a chemical reaction. It not only contains the chemical formulas, but it tells us how much of each substance is in the reaction. So here's an example of a balanced chemical equation. And now you'll notice that we have written coefficients in front of some of the substances that are involved in the reaction. And the coefficients tell us how many particles of each substance react. Uh, so you see that the uh, coefficients are the large numbers that come before the chemical formulas. There is a coefficient 1 in front of the O2, but when their coefficient is 1, it doesn't get written down. The coefficient's not part of the formula, but it does tell us how many particles react. During a chemical reaction, the number of particles is not exactly the number that is given in the um, chemical, the balanced chemical equation. Uh, but uh, it does tell us the relative numbers of particles. So for every two particles of hydrogen, it reacts with one particle of oxygen, and together they make two particles of, hydrogen, of uh, water in this example. That's enough for now.